Eating more of these five carb rich foods is proven to help you improve your kidney health. Catherine from Double Love Kini here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Let's talk about carbohydrates. There are five carb foods that are so healthy, all kidney disease patients should take advantage of them to repair their kidneys. These superfoods are all very low on the glycemic scale and pack a punch in terms of nutrition. And as a plus, they don't have too much phosphorus or potassium. Sounds great, doesn't it? Guys, carbs are a very important part of how you eat. They can easily make or destroy a kidney diet. So today, I'm also going to answer some of the hottest questions about carbs. What's the best bread for kidney health? Can you eat white rice with CKD? And more! Now guys, I'm gonna say something I've never said before here in Double Oak Kini. Let's start with bread. Number five is sourdough bread. Sourdough bread is the most common type of bread here in Italy. Actually guys, I live near a small town in the Roman countryside which is known for the best sourdough bread in the world. Sourdough bread is very popular in Mediterranean area as well as in the San Francisco Bay region of the US. Compared to regular bread, it takes much longer to ferment and rise and this is what makes it healthier. And this bread is very interesting for us because it has a phosphorus content similar to white bread but with a lower glycemic index and many more health benefits. It contains higher levels of folate and antioxidants than other breads and it also provides some B vitamins and also zinc, iron and magnesium. It's also a source of healthy prebiotics since it's fermented. Now be careful if you buy it packaged as some brands have been caught faking it. Buying sourdough bread from an artisan baker or a farmer's market increases the likelihood of it being the real thing. So this is one of the healthiest types of bread. But what about bread in general? Is bread safe for the kidney diet? Well, bread is not an easy choice for people with kidney disease. Refined white bread made from wheat flour is generally low in phosphorus and potassium but it's made from refined grains so it has a high glycemic index. This means that it is suitable for a renal diet but it's not great for people with diabetes. Now someone with diabetes may prefer wheat or whole grain bread because they have a lower glycemic index but as we can see they're way higher in phosphorus. All kinds of bread are also fairly high in sodium. So what's the best bread option? Sourdough bread is great as we have seen, but the decision on which bread to eat daily depends on how much bread you eat and on your phosphorus and blood sugar levels. Someone with diabetes in the early stages of CKD may prefer whole grain bread. Someone without diabetes may prefer regular white bread. My opinion, bread is okay but in moderation. But don't worry, I have four other great sources of carbs to show you. Our number four in particular is one of the healthiest snacks. Great to add healthy carbs and fiber to your diet. Number four, popcorn. Popcorn is healthy because it's an intact whole grain, which means that the bran, the germ, and the endosperm are all intact within the kernel. This makes it high in fiber, great to slow down the absorption of carbs and avoid blood sugar spikes. Popcorn is also a good source of vitamin C, B3, and manganese. It's also very low in calories and can help make you feel full without eating too much. One cup of popcorn also contains just 280 milligrams of potassium and 8 milligrams of phosphorus. This means that this snack is perfectly safe for the renal diet of any kidney patient. 
more benefits. It contains free radical fighting antioxidants and tryptophan, an amino acid important for sleep. And you may already know how important sleep is for kidney health. Just remember to stay away from microwave popcorn and always buy unsalted kernels. Just air pop them and don't forget to spice it up. And guys, just like popcorn, corn on the cob can also be a healthy choice. Even grits, also derived from corn, can be suitable if prepared in a healthy way. Question: For someone with diabetes, are all carbohydrates bad? Carbohydrates or carbs get a lot of attention these days, and it's no secret that carbs can affect your blood sugar levels. So you might be wondering if you should eat less of them or even eat them at all. Let's clarify immediately that carbs are essential for a healthy diet, even if you have diabetes. There are just three major nutrients found in foods, carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Now, protein is known to be bad for the kidneys, and there are very few healthy fats you can eat. This is why, usually, you will be getting around 45-65% to of all your calories from carbohydrates. They are the base of any healthy diet, so make sure you are getting the healthy ones, like those I'm gonna show you today. So let's see now a great source of low glycemic carbs, great as a main dish. Number 3. Wild Rice Wild rice is maybe the best rice there is for people with kidney problems. Wild rice can contain as much as 30 times the antioxidants as white rice. It is low on the glycemic scale and packs a lot more fiber than white rice and it also has some magnesium and B vitamins, all very healthy. It's also a good source of antioxidants while being lower in phosphorus and potassium than brown rice. Wild rice may look like the perfect choice when it comes to healthy carbs. It only has one problem. Wild rice is not rice. It just looks, cooks, and acts like rice, so it gets to borrow the name. Wild rice is actually made of seeds that come from a type of marsh grass. This doesn't make it less healthy. The problem is that it's expensive and hard to find. Still, if you can find it and it's not too expensive for you, wild rice is a great choice. A question now, is white rice safe for a kidney diet? White rice is a great choice for people with kidney problems. It provides energy and is low in potassium and phosphorus. It is also considered a safe carbohydrate, very easy to digest, making it also an ideal choice for people with digestive problems. But it has two main downsides. First. It has a higher glycemic index than other types of rice, which can be bad for someone with diabetes. Also, white rice doesn't have many micronutrients other types of rice have. However, in the US and many other countries, white rice is enriched with iron, thiamine, niacin, and folate. Not as many nutrients as whole grains, but with less phosphorus. Now, if only there was a way to get carbohydrates from a whole grain, also low in potassium and phosphorus. Maybe our number two? Number two, barley. An amazing superfood for your kidneys. Barley is low in GI and phosphorus, and it also boasts some anti-inflammatory properties. Barley contains betaine, a nutrient that may help reduce inflammation. Barley is also rich in soluble fiber, the healthiest fiber you can find. In magnesium, great to lower your blood pressure and iron to fight anemia. This is what makes it a superfood. And it's also great as a breakfast staple. You can find barley in flakes and that's great to make porridge because it's healthier and lower in phosphorus than oatmeal. Barley is also easy to find compared, for example, to wild rice and relatively inexpensive. It's also very easy to prepare. Throw some barley into a large pot of water and simmer until tender. Drain and serve with some olive oil and roasted veggies. 
or add cooked barley to soups, use it in cold salads or substitute it for rice in risotto. Barley is great! It would have been our number one if it wasn't a bit high in potassium and phosphorus. Yes, I have something even healthier. Time for the healthiest carb source for people with kidney problems. Our number one may improve heart health, promote weight loss, and help manage diabetes. Let's see it. Number one, buckwheat. Oh, this is a powerful superfood. Among cereals and pseudo cereals, buckwheat is the richest source of protein, an antioxidant that may have a number of benefits for the heart and kidneys. A recent study linked buckwheat intake to lower blood pressure and lower cholesterol levels. Great for kidney health. Many whole grains tend to be high in phosphorus, but buckwheat is a healthy exception. You can easily use it in place of uh, rice in pilafs or try making grain salads with it. And what about vitamins? There are seven superfoods so rich in all those vitamins people with kidney problems need the most. Want to see them? Watch this video up here. A new video is coming next Sunday. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.